All right, <clears throat> today we're going to be going straight into it, uh, but anyways, welcome back to a Dolphin Computer Service video. Like I said, we're going straight into it because I've had a lot of uh, friends and uh, clients that had their Instagram accounts um, breached, hacked, however you want to call it, by, you know, scammers. Uh, specifically Bitcoin scammers. Yes, the Bitcoin people are at it again, trying to steal your money so that they could buy more of their Bitcoin. Um, unfortunately, it's a common thing that happens. Um, the latest one, right before I called, uh, I mean, correction, right before I made this video, they called and they said that a friend had sent them a link stating that they needed help getting logging into their account, you know, and that they sent them a link, and when they copied it and pasted it into their browser, they were automatically logged off, and they lost access to their account. So, a lot of these things can be prevented with some basic, you know, common sense. I understand, like in the case that this young lady had given me a call, that, you know, she was in school, she was, you know, tired, she was studying, she wasn't really, you know, thinking about that, you know, she just wanted to move on with the conversation, get back to studying, you know, that's usually when hackers, you know, prey on people that uh, they prey on people that are, you know, either busy or, you know, they're vulnerable, such as the elderly, you know, or people that just don't know in general. You know, that's usually when what they go for. And in, in some other cases, they'll actually guess your password and, you know, find the way in. They may, you know, get your email like. An example for mine, my email is plastered all over the internet because that's how clients contact me. So, you know, they already have a email. All they have to do is, you know, maybe guess a password and, you know, they might just get in. But, you know, we're going to go over here from uh, gfcglobal.org, a trusted, at least from what I understand is trusted. Uh, Google also has some links on how to make a secure password. I will link both of this one and the Google one below, like I did in my Facebook channel. So we're going to start off again really quickly um, and right into it. So we're never going to use personal information such as, you know, your name, your birthday, your username. And you're not supposed to use your email address, but a lot of websites, they make you use your email address. You know, that's kind of, you know, you can't do anything about it. And, you know, like in my case, you know, my email is on my business card. It's on my website. So, you know, I, I don't have a choice. But if you can't avoid it, it is definitely recommended. Uh, you want to use a long password, at least six characters. Uh, I would say even more. I'd say at least, you know, eight at your 10, you know, because, you know, six, you know, letters, or six characters, you know, could probably be your address and if someone knows your address and tries to guess it or they see your address in the phone book you know believe it or not it's more common than you think that people use their address as their password uh, and that would also fall into you know you never use personal information but you know people are people you know we, we can't help it uh you i we're all guilty of this one about using the same password for each account you know memorizing passwords is hard but uh, I'll show you a few tips and tricks here on how to only remember either one or, you know, ha never have to remember them at all. So, you know, so again, just stay with me in this video. So, you know, again, we're all guilty of it. But, you know, sometimes we'll make variations of it. You know, we'll add an at, we'll add a, a hashtag, we'll add a and symbol, a, a percent sign, you know, like type thing, you know, like we'll, we'll, we'll change it up. But nonetheless, you know. A smart hacker, it isn't going to, you know, take them very long. Um, you want to include uppercases, numbers, symbols, lowercases, letters, even spaces, if you can remember, because that throws off hackers. You know, no one's, you know, it makes it a lot harder for them to find it. Um, this is the first time I've seen about using words in the dictionary. When you think about it, every word's in the dictionary. But I guess, you know, using something super obvious like the word swimming here. In that case, and um, using a password generator is very good. I'm going to show you the password generator in right now, actually. So we're going to go to Bitwarden here. This is the most popular one for both business and personal. Um, so you just put in one password. And then you can set up different passwords inside it. And it will automatically generate a random password for each one. This is an app that you can download completely free. I've used it before, 
So let me get my, you know, overwhelming thoughts out of the way here. Um, this is another example. They also have, you know, there's also a bunch of other ones. You know, this is the one that I used to use beforehand. But there is another method here that I'm going to show you right now. I don't know if it'll let me here. So if I go into my, my thing here, I could actually create a new password in iOS. You know, we'll type in something random like, you know, holdmybeer.com. So if we type in our username, you know, obviously I have, you know, different ones here. So we'll say our username is, you know, Dolphin Likes Beer. And our password, as you see at the bottom here, where my cursor is pointing, it will automatically generate a password for us. Um, every web browser has this now. Google Chrome has it. Safari has it. Firefox has it. And in this case, you know, it's built into iOS. So you can, you know, it'll do it automatically for you. I totally recommend this because you just, all you have to do is sign in. You make a really strong password for your, for your, your iCloud account. And that way you have everything already on here. So when you switch phones and you log back into your iCloud account, I can remember, you have to remember to remember your iCloud account password. Please don't forget it. You know, it happens a lot more often than you think. Uh, you just log back in, like if you switch your phone, and then you'll get everything back as it was before. Or when you switch your new phone, you can whether it's at your carrier or yourself, you can either you know hold the devices next to each other and the data automatically transfers, so everything to the last saved backup, and that's another way of doing it. So this is my preferred method. Some people say that it's not the best, but you know, honestly, I've never had an issue with it. So you know. I say recommend it. I've never had a security breach with it. So, again, I do recommend it. And then finally, we're going to enable two-factor authentication. So, this is going to be the one that I recommend and the one that I use. is called the Microsoft Authenticator. We're going to open up an image here. So, once you set up two-factor on the website, you tell them to use this app. And, you you know, you put in the information and once someone tries to log in, it'll ask for a it'll ask for a code. And as you see here, I can't really zoom in, but these codes are timed. You see over here. So you only have 60 set like 30 seconds to use the code. So every 30 seconds there's a new code. So let's say, you know, they they're able to find your password, but without the code, they can't do anything. And if they and if they do find the code, chances are the code is already old and they can't use it anymore. So, again, this is a short little video, but this is basically what I wanted to talk about. You know, how to keep your account more secure. It's also advisable that every now and then you change your password, you know, let's say every month or something. But, you know, I'll leave the links down in the description below so you all can look at it. Uh, stay safe out there and just remember... To use your common sense, if it sounds fishy, you have that one friend that you've never talked to in 30 years, all of a sudden ask you for cash app money, chances are it's someone trying to scam you. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you all learned something today.